Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up as we discuss vaginal steaming, V-steaming, yoni pearls, goddess pearls. They have several different names. I received a lot of DMs from people wanting me to give my opinion about these treatments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think about it, Bunny? Let us know. And I am more than happy to share my opinion. It's trending and I do think more people need to discuss not only this treatment, but vaginal health in general. That's all coming up next. It's Bunny. Before I begin, it's super important that I communicate that I am not a medical doctor, a GYN, nor am I an herbalist. Everything that I say in this video is based upon personal opinion along with things that I've learned from my degrees and accolades within the medical and science field. These two treatments aren't anything new. It's becoming trending because more women are being vocal about their experiences, which sparks more conversations, more interest, more research about vaginal health, which I'm all for. Whether you agree or disagree, I like the fact that more people are saying, hmm, here are some other options and maybe improving my vaginal health when people may have experiences that are causing some sort of infertility, maybe unlikely discharges, etc. So I'm all for discussions, I'm all for debates. Now, before I give my opinions about these two treatments, I want to discuss what they are and what exactly they do. Vaginal steaming and pearls. Now the idea of vaginal steaming is to have a mixture of different herbs that are placed in water and of course that water being hot enough to create this steam and someone sitting over that steam and the vagina benefiting from the essentials that come from all of those herbs that are released in that steam. Now it's it's been noted that people use it from, for several different reasons. To help with pH balance, getting that pH balance to a healthy level for dryness, lubrication, but the top two, the main reasons that a lot of people vaginally steam is women who have given birth, postpartum, and also women with treatment and assisting with their menstrual cycle. Now with the steaming and the herbs, it's known or it's the thought behind it, okay, is to help with the uterus to become calm, to allow the uterus to go back to its normal size, assisting in that elasticity. When it comes to women using for the purposes and assisting with menstrual cramping is the idea. And I have to say idea because that is the belief behind the treatment of what the goal is, okay? So that's why I keep saying the idea, okay? So when it comes to women using and assisting with terrible menstrual cramping is because it's believed that it loosens stiff endometrium and that of course is released during your menstrual cycle so if you don't know what that is let me help explain what that is with a picture and some narration in the middle of the cycle the egg is released from one of the ovaries this is known as ovulation following ovulation levels of uh, another hormone called progesterone begins to increase now progesterone prepares the endometrium to receive and nourish a fertilized egg if pregnancy doesn't occur estrogen and progesterone levels decrease of course um, so then we have if an egg does not become fertilized, the lining of the uterus, the endometrium, is shed during menstruation. 
So now let's talk about detox pearls or pearls. With this idea, you have a mixture of different herbs that are wrapped in gauze, cotton gauze. Same idea of effects in helping pH levels, helping to pull down whatever is existing from a previous menstrual cycle, helping level pH levels, etc. So they share some of the same ideas and benefits, benefits of its use. Now with this treatment, it would actually be inserted into the vagina. Now many of them have strings that will assist in pulling out the pearls after its treatment and some don't but the idea of treatment is to insert into the vagina to allow the herbs to settle or sit for a window of 24 to 48 hours and after that window after that time frame you will pull out the pearl and allow over the course of a few days for your body to help and flush out what those herbs were meant to do the idea behind it so to pull all of that out now instead of a steam with this be inserted the idea is to have more of a potency just like someone who's on a medicine and instead of swallowing the pill they are instructed to place it under their tongue because there is a more potent effect of that via tissue and through the bloodstream that someone could get through that so with this pearl idea you are inserting directly into the vagina so it can have contact with the tissue so now that we have an idea of both treatments what they do and how it may affect the body i'll go ahead and give my opinions having that foreign object in your vagina for that amount of time you are developing yeast bacteria okay potentially okay i don't want to say for a fact this is just my opinion but you are allowing the development of yeast and bacteria and a lot of women, what they're posting, what I'm looking at, in my opinion, it is that development of yeast, your vagina, your body reacting to fighting off and trying to get out what is in your vagina. And it is your endometrium because you have to shed that. So it's potentially speeding up that process and your vagina getting that out. A lot of women show photos of uh, hate to be vulgar, but uh, uh, blood clots, blood that's remained from a previous cycle. And I'm not saying that they aren't experiencing what they're experiencing, but I think that is yeast because if you look at photos or if you do any studies of yeast infections, the discharge looks similar to what a lot of women are posting so i really think it's the body's reaction it's yeast and bacteria and also the endometrium that was going to come out anyway okay so those are my opinions won't be trying the pearls anytime soon um steam maybe it's something i might try to give it a whirl i'm all for improving vaginal health but please remember and ask yourself are you trying this treatment because something is wrong if you are please visit your doctor and please discuss any changes with your body that may give you concerns or that you have concerns with if there's not anything wrong if you don't notice changes in your normal discharges why are you trying it are you trying it because it's trending and it's something that everybody else is doing if it is i say don't take the risk if it ain't broke don't try to fix it. Don't take a risk in something messing up or throwing off your pH balance that is already at a state to where it is healthy. So please be careful. If you decide to buy this, please understand all of the science behind it in which I've explained and I hope that it helps. Spread the word, share this video with anyone who has questions or anyone that's interested because I really think that we need to get into more discussions about this. This shouldn't be taboo. Vaginal health and taking care of our bodies is very, very important. So I got some good news for you. Stay tuned. I got another video coming up about, make sure to click on this video, 
vaginal health, how to take care of your vulva, understanding your anatomy and how to take care of yourself. Watch that video, click on that, spread the word, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I don't know if you noticed, I subscribe to whomever subscribes to me. Follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, official bun underscore E. And I hope you liked what you saw, all right? So y'all have a good one. See you later. Please stay tuned and click on that next video to where I go more into vaginal health and taking care of you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>